So one of the things I love about participating in community is occasionally you see something that just knocks you out. And um, this happened to me last night. I was participating in the Excel BI nightly power query challenge. And I just saw something that was so good, I had to make a video about it. So the the challenge was pretty interesting. It was, they, they gave you a, a set of prime numbers. And what you had to do is you had to filter that down to the, to the numbers in the list that were still prime after you reverse the sequence of the numbers. And so let me show you how I did this. I thought it was, thought it was a pretty cool solution. And then, and then I saw one that just absolutely knocked me out. Um, so here was the way I did it. So I started with the list and then I used text.reverse and reverse the, the order to come up with this reverse column and then change the type to, to whole number. And then I invoked an R script, just a really, really brief R script that called a library called primes. It fed the, um, the last step in my power query into a data frame called DF, and then created another column on that data frame that just determined whether or not that reversed column was prime or not. And then it fed it back out to the, to the data frame. And so when you, when you run that, what you get is this, which is the original, the original table with an is prime field that's true or false based on whether that reversed column is, is, is prime or not. And then it's really a simple matter to just filter that down to the trues and then take out that is prime column. So that I thought was a pretty cool solution. And then a guy named Alexis Olson just basically did a hold my beer and showed me something that absolutely blew me away. Um, so let me show you, let me show you how his approach worked. And basically what we can do is we can duplicate this, this query. And let's take it from, take it from step two. So after the add reversed, let's take and let's delete everything until the end. And we'll, we'll, we'll use his approach. Okay, so we're back at the ad rev the, at the reversed, and what he did is he's a mathematician, and so he knew amazingly that numbers that were called um, numbers that were prime that are also prime in reverse are called emerps, and he showed us this um, this online encyclopedia of integer sequences. If you type emerps in here, what you get is um, Emerp's primes whose reversal is a different prime. And you can go down here and you can, you can get a list of the, the first 10,000 Emerp's. And so you can take that, that list. And if we go back into Power Query, what we can do is we can add a step and then use the the web contents operator. Um, and then we paste that, that URL in. And what that'll do if we run that is that will, that will create a table from that emerps list. And then what we can do is using, using selection, we can select the column two from that, from that table. And what we'll get is a list of all the, the 10,000 emerps. And we can, we can name that, we can rename that list here. Let's call this step emerps. And now what we can do is we can go back to the advanced editor. And now what we can do is we can add a custom column. And we'll call this is emerps. And we'll do table add column. And we're going to add that to the add, the add reverse table. And we'll call this, uh, this new column um, is emerp. And what we're going to do is we're going to say for each, each line of the, 
of the table, we're going to say, um, does that list contain, so we use list contains, and then we'll, we'll check the eMERPS list. for our reverse text. And then we'll just do that in the is emerp. And let's take a look at what that produces. And that produces basically the same thing that we had in the R script, where we have a true or false. And then what we can do is we can just filter that down to only the trues, and then take that is emerp column off the table. And so we're left with exactly the same result that we had before, but we've got the ability now to check any, any list against an online list. And you can see how useful that could be, that we can use that to validate zip codes or country codes or names lists. And I just thought that was an absolutely fantastic technique. So I wanted to thank Alexis for posting that and wanted to show that to you today as something I think could be really generalizable and a valuable um, technique moving forward. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best. Take care.